So imagine you are in an interview and you get asked this simple question. How would you test or how to test date fields? Or what test cases would you create, write for date fields? Well, by the end of this video, I'm going to give you some pointers that will help you in your testing in the future and will help you answer also this question. So let's begin. So when we want to do this, um, the date fields, we need to think in three directions. So we need to think of format, we need to think of validations, and we need to think about storing. About the formatting, so as you might know, not every country in this world interprets states the same way. So there are some countries for which you have month, day, and year, others which have day, month, and year, and others which make little sense, which have year, month, and day. But all this needs to be taken into consideration. So if you have a field, you need to try all of these formats. And based maybe on the application that you're testing, if the application is specific to uh, a region of uh, the globe, then you need to make sure that the format for that region definitely works. Besides thinking about the format, what you need to check as a tester, of course, is or are validations. And what do I mean by validations? So do you have a minimum value that can be entered in, um, in the field, a maximum value? So maybe um, a value in the next so current date plus one million years. Is that allowed? Is that not allowed? Does the system or the field validate that you have entered a valid, not only a valid format, but a valid date? Because if you entered um, February 30th, then you should get um, an, an error. And coming back to validations, as I said, um, you need to check also based on the um, um, logic in the application that different dates um, match the validation. So, for example, if you have a start date and an end date, so those two need to be correlated. The end date cannot be before the start date and so forth. Very important. So you have the format, you have the validations. It's important to know how the date is being stored and how it's being displayed. So you have here on the left side a table of different formats to store the date. So the first one is pretty complex. It has um, actually that only, that only has a time. The first one is the more simple one with year, month, and day. Then you have uh, also seconds. Then you have uh, nanoseconds and and so forth. So one important aspect number one. So when you store the date. Uh, or when the application stores the date, you need to make sure that uh, in the database that value is being stored as a date and not as a string. This is important for um, the future because then in case you want to make comparisons on dates, it makes more sense to be comparing a date to a date than comparing strings. Or if you want to um, if, uh, sort based on date, then it again makes more sense to have it as a date. Um, as I mentioned before, context is very important. So depending on uh, the application that you're do, do you, are, you are testing, it, you may need to have a more precise date. So a date where you need to include also the hour, minutes, and the second. And last but not least, even though you have, for example, in the database, you have stored um, you have stored the date like, like this. So you have seconds and even milliseconds. You need to be aware or you need to check how that is displayed for the end user. Because for a normal user, I don't need to know, or as a normal user, I don't really need to know um, in X percent of the cases, or in the, majority of, in the majority of the cases, the milliseconds being stored. It is it suffice to me to have the day, 
the month and the year and maybe in some contexts also the hours and there you have it this was all which i wanted to present to you and i hope you have um you have now a little bit more grasp on what you can use to tackle that question if you have other scenarios that you think should be added to this to this list feel free to add them in the comment as always thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye